It's your saving grace in the heat of summer, but have you ever wondered how your car's air conditioning system works? Hey there, I'm Bryony from Accelerate Auto Electrics and Air Conditioning on the Sunshine Coast. Your car's air conditioning system is made up of hundreds of components, including hoses, valves, sensors, switches, pumps, filters, fans, that's really just to name a few. Today, we're going to run you through the major components of your vehicle's air conditioning system and show you how they work together to keep your car cool. So let's begin with the hardest working component of the system. It's the AC compressor. The compressor is the workhorse of the car air conditioning system. When the aircon system is turned on, the compressor pumps refrigerant vapor under high pressure to the condenser. So next down the line is the condenser, this one here. It's a device used to change the high pressure refrigerant vapor to a liquid. The vapor is condensed to a liquid because of the high pressure that is driving it in and this generates heat. The heat is then in turn removed from the condenser by air flowing through the condenser on the outside. After the condenser, the liquid refrigerant moves into a receiver dryer. The receiver dryer acts as a filter for the liquid refrigerant, removing any moisture and other contaminants that may have leaked into the refrigerant. The pressurized refrigerant flows from the receiver dryer to the expansion valve or TX valve. The expansion valve removes pressure from the liquid refrigerant so that it can expand and become refrigerant vapor in the evaporator. As cold, low pressure refrigerant is passed through into the evaporator, it vaporizes and absorbs heat from the air in the passenger compartment. The blower fan inside the passenger compartment pushes air over the outside of the evaporator, so cold air is circulated inside the car. And now we're basically back to where we started with the compressor. At this point, the compressor draws in the low pressure refrigerant vapor to start another refrigeration cycle. The refrigeration cycle then runs continuously and is regulated by the setting of the expansion valve. Another important component of your AC system is the cabin filter, also known as a pollen filter. This filters the air that is blowing into the cab of the vehicle. Often when there are bad smells or poor airflow coming from your air conditioning, it is because of a blocked or dirty cabin filter. As we mentioned at the start of the video, the AC system is made up of hundreds of components, which can make it difficult to diagnose a fault if we don't know exactly what we're looking for. This is why we always include a UV dye as part of our standard AC service. This ensures that if there ever is a leak in your AC system, we are able to identify where it is and repair or replace the part as needed. If your AC system isn't working as well as it used to, we have another video on checks that you can do at home. We'll include in the description box below. Remember, when dealing with your car's AC system here in Australia, the industry is governed by Arctic and all technicians should be licensed. If you have any questions about your car air conditioning system, you can give us a call on 1300 227 353, comment below, or drop us an email to info at amae.net.au.